there's only one reason why you're on this video. That's that you had the unfortunate fate of having a narcissistic individual in your life. Well, me too. And this series is intended to not only help myself heal and move forward, but others who experience this abuse as well. In this series, I will identify uh, all the red flags of these individuals to avoid them like the plague. Um, seriously, like the plague. Uh, these individuals are deeply sick and will cause unimaginable destruction to your life. Uh, intentionally, and intentionally, by the way. And won't take accountability. So, <laughs> there's another thing. That's literally like what these individuals are... That what these individuals do, they are masters of betrayal, uh, so to say, as I'm starting to learn. Um, and they will intentionally try to hurt you and bring you down and all those other negative things of that these individuals can do. Um, they're deeply disturbed, um, uh, then they're, they're not rational people. So, um, just do yourself a favor and if you can, can avoid it, which this series will help you do. Another thing will be the series will do is provide steps and resources on how to move forward and heal if they've already infected your life and share examples from my own life using non-identifiable um, examples that I've uh, accrued over time because I have started to uh, record my interactions with these individuals uh, that I've had to deal with personally and there's some very telling tales there some very very telling tales but I will not be um I won't be <clears throat> exposing any personal information or identifiable information. I uh, don't want to play a game. I don't want to get it down in the mud with them because you only end up you only end up hurting yourself basically, uh, playing yourself. You want to keep your <clears throat> like a uh, I forgot like Doctor C says. You want to keep your integrity. You want to keep your integrity. You want to keep your self respect and your dignity. Um, dealing with these people. If you try to get back at them the way that they have you, one, they'll win every time because they'll go through links that you won't. And two, you only lose yourself in the process. And you don't want to do that because you already lose more, enough of yourself dealing with these individuals. Um, so that's things such as gaslighting, triangulation, manipulation, victim blaming, victim blaming, stalking. Uh, not for, Personally, I don't think I've ever experienced any physical stalking. But definitely cyber stalking uh, and online stalking uh, and every other tactic that I have an experience. Uh, uh, just every other tactic that these individuals use to keep you from being you, which is a term that I got from Dr. C. Um, I know dealing with the aftermath of the narcissistic abuse it can be extremely difficult and testing, but many have gone through it and gotten through it. And so can you. If you believe this will be helpful to you, stick along. If not, go about your day. Either way, I wish you the best in your life. And despite this down period, I hope you can find yourself again and let your light shine. Um, immediately, I can offer some resources down below in the description. There are going to be some secular resources, so like uh, from doctors and people who are who know way more about this subject than I do. It can help you way better than I can on steps on how to avoid these people and how to deal with the trauma and that comes from the betrayal. The intention, the intentional betrayal, by the way. Um, there'll also be some religious stuff down there as well, but everything will be separated for you to go through and pick up whatever your, your flavor is, basically. Uh, like I said, let your light shine, and until next time.